Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video uh, just talking about this new diet I'm embarking upon. I've never done a diet or really anything like this before. So it's really uncharted territory for me. And the reason I'm doing this is not because I'm doing a diet, uh, you know, who cares? Everyone's going on diets for, for weight loss at the moment. Uh, it's because it's a kind of specific diet for post cholecystectomy or post uh, gallbladder removal and functional dyspepsia and bloating and all the issues i've been having now uh this is very much you know it's my perspective as somebody going through these issues and i want to do this because if it really works i'll be able to do another video in a few months and say uh, i followed all these recommendations and this is the difference that it made so um context i'm about two years out from my gallbladder surgery and as it seems to be the case there is a subset of people who just get on from the surgery and everything works just fine in their body and then there's people who everything kind of goes the other way and seems to break down and stop working and i've been kind of somewhere in the middle i guess having difficulties thankfully you know not being housebound i've heard i've read some really tragic uh stories about people that just you know were really destroyed by the surgery um so I haven't had that, but I have had basically um, the functional dyspepsia, which is in normal person language. It's uh, fullness, bloating, burping, all these, uh, I think what doctors called up, upper GI symptoms. So it's not like down here in your colon, which is more like IBS. It's just all like stuff coming up uh, and uh, it's very, very unpleasant and been going on for two years. So that interview with Dr. Tally really gave me uh, encouragement to see the, see the dietitian. I had this appointment set already and just give it a good shot because he said he sends every single patient of his out to see a dietitian. Now, again, this is just uh, me talking here as a uh, FD patient, someone with problems after the surgery and uh, not as medical or nutritional advice. So I just wanna say basically what I'm moving to. I also just wanna talk about one supplement that a lot of people after their gallbladder removal do take uh, and which I find kind of helpful just just to give a full picture of what I'm doing now so the uh, the diet my diet it's it's over here I'm just looking at my screen here basically it's a low fat diet and the reason what my uh, dietitian told me is you know the it makes it makes a ton of sense the gallbladder is an organ that stores bile concentrates bile and then it, puts that bile, uh, injects that bile into the small intestine where its job is to basically, one of its jobs is to help break down fat. So it's like kind of part of the digestive cascade that makes it easier for our bodies to break down fat and then subsequently to absorb fat and fat soluble uh, vitamins. So when that's missing from your system and you maintain eating the same amount of fat, which is essentially what I've done, uh, not advised you're going to be having problems and the problem I've been having which I've heard a lot of people having is uh, weight gain I've had a really really hard time maintaining a weight and it's been perplexing I've been uh, exercising a bit I've been you know uh, maintain eating a pretty normal diet and the pounds were just like coming on so um, I'm hopeful that this diet will simultaneously improve all these digestive problems and it will also uh, help maintain uh, a healthy weight because I've kind of got back down to my previous gene size which is amazing and I don't want to go back in the other direction so I'm trying to maintain at this level so um, the diet it's a low fat diet for that reason trying to minimize uh, that consumption of fat and it's basically is what it is it's grains it's legumes so it's chickpeas and lentils uh, it is what else am I eating? Low fat dairy uh, is another thing. Now this is something that nutritionist or dietitian, I should say, was hesitant about because lactose intolerance and gluten intolerance. Uh, I'm personally trying to keep as many things in my diet as I can have uh, and not cut out for no reason other foodstuffs. I don't know that I'm lactose intolerant. I have no reason to think that I am. So I, I, I kind of insisted actually that I keep the option to eat this so i basically in the last week bought like every low-fat dairy product in my supermarket ranging from low-fat yogurt uh to low-fat cheese to low-fat labneh which is a uh, spread here in the middle east and i must say everything's been surprisingly good and tasty so that's been a good snack for me 
so besides the grains, uh, there's eggs in my diet. Uh, there are lean meats. So like, for example, uh, lean chicken, uh, white chicken, white chicken breast, chicken breast, and uh, low fat fish. So there are fatty fish and there is uh, less fatty fish. So low fat fish. Uh, and basically just avoiding fat. Now that's kind of, it's, it's a tough one for me. And I suspect the reason I've had a lot of problems post-surgery is because uh, I'm a big fan of stuff like olives. I'm a big fan of full fat cheese and full fat milk. And uh, these are all things that unfortunately are kind of out from the perspective of this diet. The only, only other thing I'll say about this diet is it's really interesting how far uh, low fat diets have kind of fallen out of favor if you put this into YouTube or the internet and Google, you're gonna get a bunch of results. Low fat diets are terrible. They were really popular in our parents' day and now we realize how good some fats are and don't cut out fats. So I don't know if that information is valid as a non-nutritionist, but uh, there are people with medical conditions like you don't have a gallbladder or your pancreas is, is creating issues uh, that really have to stick to low fat. It's not about maintaining or maximizing health. It's about uh, sort of dealing with a, a different digestive situation. So that's basically what the, what the diet I've been uh, recommended to take is. Uh, porridge is what's gonna be my breakfast now. Uh, lunch is gonna be this uh, Indian curry. So I'm gonna be making my own curries again. And this, the only difference will be that I'll be measuring very carefully the fat a lot of dals, uh, a lot of uh, you know Indian Indian veggie curries, um, and then for dinner either more curry or uh, there's going to be basically those leaner meats, and that's going to be my diet for snacks. It's going to be a bit grim. There's going to be uh, rice crackers and baked apple slices. I'm buying myself a air fryer for the first time. Well, obviously for the first time in my life, and just trying to make this easy for myself. Make this even maybe fun trying to see the positive aspect of this as in not just saying okay my i've lost my gallbladder i can't get it back i've now got all these digestive problems i didn't have before the surgery i'm now bloated all the time all these things are true and all these things are kind of sucky uh but i'm trying to see it from the perspective of this is like this can be my catalyst to eat really healthy to live really healthy uh to just maintain a much healthier lifestyle so that's kind of my motivator and just the mind frame shift I'm trying to do uh, at the moment. So that's what I'm doing. I did want to mention this supplement because this is the other thing I've just added as a weapon uh, to, 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 try, to try make things a bit better for myself. So this supplement's called Bile Acid Factors. It's by a company called Jaro Formulas. And uh, if the low fat approach is the preventative approach, this is kind of coming at it from the other direction of uh, because you don't have as much bile after the surgery, right? So the gallbladder takes in the bile that the liver makes and then it really it distills it down to concentrated bile and then puts that into your small intestine. And when you don't have that, the bile just kind of trickles uh, slowly throughout the day uh, as the liver makes it. So what this guy does is um, it's an animal derived product um, it's bovine sourced. You'll, you'll also see ox bile supplements. You'll also see something called Tudka. Uh, what these things are trying to do is just give you artificial bile. And the way you're supposed to use this supplement is to take one pill at the start of the meal so that it'll mix in with the food and just give you that kind of missing bile that you don't have. So the way I'm approaching it, and I, if I can say this is, I think, quite a good approach, I'm trying to eat low fat 90% of the time. And the 10% of the time that I just wanna say, screw it, I'm gonna have my falafel, I'm gonna have my hamburger, I'm gonna have that pizza. In other words, I'm gonna have a fatty meal. I need a break from the low fat. Um, I'm taking one of these. Now, only one. You do not want to take too many of these bile acid pills because uh, let's just say uh, you will know all about it for the next few hours uh, in many, many different ways. And you also don't want to take these after the meal because um, you want to take them at the start. If you take them after, the food's already gone down, you'll get horrible, horrible uh, reflux. I've experienced this. So you kind of have to keep your head on with these supplements. And I am keeping them on a little kind of key holder thing that I bring with me so that if I'm out, uh, I'll be able to take one on the go. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying. 
uh, my next appointment with the dietitian is in about the end of December, so October, November, December, three months to experiment with this. I'll give you guys an update then. And I really hope that for anyone else uh, dealing with all these sort of digestive problems after their cholecystectomy, their gallbladder surgery, that these things help so that there can be a bit of, I can provide a little bit of encouragement uh, that there are certain things that will make a difference. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more videos on this YouTube channel.